uh, 2016 is upon us. Uh, what are you hoping for this year? Well, obviously in Liverpool, big year because International Festival for Business will be coming along in the summer, which will be here sooner than we know. And there's some fantastic events that we've got lined up for those three weeks. Um, downtown, obviously, very involved in that programme. We'll be organising some fringe events as well around that period of time. But in the interim period, clearly the Northern Powerhouse agenda, massive this year. We'll be hearing an awful lot from our bosses that run our transport and connectivity sectors. We'll be talking to the Mayor of Liverpool. We'll be talking to people like Jeff Fitzgerald, Chief Executive of the City Council. And really trying to get a private sector influence into those policy decisions that can impact on economic growth. Again, one of the big agendas for us this year is female enterprise. As you know, we've been organising Women in Business Awards. This is our fourth annual awards in March. We really want to push ahead with that agenda because still not quite enough being done, I don't think, to support female entrepreneurs, encouraging women into enterprise and to running their own business. So we'll be doing an awful lot of work around that. And finally, I'm looking forward through 2016 with downtown. Are we going to see anything innovative? Are we, what kind of... Uh, things are you looking for downtown to, to be developing in and growing? Well I think the fact that we now reach out to as far as Birmingham is clearly a big plus for us because we can advise people how to go into other cities as well so we're in five locations now, Birmingham being the latest but we've been in Leeds for four years, Manchester for six, Lancashire for eight, Liverpool for 13 so we're an experienced networking organisation that can reach out almost across the country now. We've got some great links in London as well, as you know. I think we, as I say, will be very involved in the International Festival for Business. We have been the main advocates of the devolution agenda, not just for the past couple of years when it's been flavour of the month. We've been doing that now in terms of putting it on the agenda, promoting it for probably the 13 years that we've been going. So that's great that, you know, the politicians have finally caught up with us. And I think the other thing that you'll see from us this year is a lot more events um, because I think what we've recognised is as you're getting a bigger membership to service that membership you have to do more in terms of letting people get out and about and as I say meeting others so we'll do probably this year over 100 events in Liverpool and that's no mean feat and when you take into account collectively and accumulatively what we'll do across the piece you're probably looking at about 450 events. So when you interview me this time next year, you'll see that I have aged. Because I know everyone watching this is thinking, 13 years ago, he doesn't look a day older. I'm guessing this time next year that might change. That's great. Thanks very much, Frank.